Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tony and as you know I'm normally in my garage uh, building my Armatec tanks and I still am doing that and there are more videos coming up of the little Hetzer that I'm working on. Not so little but um, smaller than the bigger tanks. Um, but this is something a bit different. Um, I thought I'd do this um, because I thought I'm a massive Star Wars fan um, and then the little trailer or a little teaser I left off in my last video I explained what this was but here it is. The box is huge it's arrived and i'm buzzing about unboxing this so this inside this box is a huge and i mean huge one to six scale luke skywalker snow speeder which was seen in the empire strikes back film and i haven't looked at it yet um i've uh, had to open the box because i'm not allowed uh, standing eyes inside the house and my wife has very kindly allowed me to film this inside the house because this is just too big to open up in my garage so in a moment, I am going to unbox this. I just want to give you a bit of background. It's made by a company called Jazz Inc. They're based in the Netherlands, and they are an incredible company. They do movie-grade models, one to six scale, and I think they even do slightly bigger ones, one to four and most possibly even half scale. Worth checking them out. If you're into Star Wars or models of any uh, real detail, check them out online, Jazz Inc., um, spelled J-A-S-Z-Z-I-N-C. I will give you a link uh, if you ask me in the comments. I'll send you a link for, the, for their website. Really friendly company. You're dealing with the person that designs it directly. You're dealing with the person that owns the company. You're not dealing with a massive organization. So you're actually speaking to the person that makes these things from scratch, from the very early stage of design. So that's really, really cool. So in a moment, I will unbox this and we'll go into the detail and why this is so amazing. But I just have to say, this is not going to be mine. Um, this is actually by a uh, for my two sons who own a company called NXT Collectibles or Next Win Collectibles, sorry. Um, and they have sponsored my videos in the past. They're doing an incredible job and offering some amazing prizes of which this is going to be one of them. So next year at some point, once this is unboxed, I'm going to put it all back together and this is going to be raffled off alongside a Luke Skywalker Snow Speeder Hot Toy in a raffle that you can win for a very, very, very small amount of money. So that'll be next year. So I just want to give them a shout out as well. So before I open this, I want to give you an idea of the size of the box it arrives in. So this box is something like, it's just 37 and a half inches, just 37 and a half inches, which is in metric is 950. And that's square, 950 square by 37 and a half inches. Um, and it's just over a foot tall, it's about 13 inches or 340 mil tall. So this is a big old box, but it arrived safely. Um, I've had a quick peek inside the box just to make sure everything looks right and it feels right. I haven't unboxed it yet. I had a really good look at it yet, so I'll be doing that very shortly. Um, and in a moment, I will reposition the camera and we'll get stuck into this incredible model. All right, so just before I do that, um, just got on my iPad here, um, some of the models that these guys make at Jazz Inc. So um, this is something that they're currently working on, which is the original 1960s era Batmobile. Really, really cool. So definitely check them out. Um, and uh, you, you will not be disappointed. So let's get started. Obviously, a massive box. Um, huge, huge big old cardboard flaps. Um, I'm going to be trying not to get in the way of this. As I said, I've already cut the tape and uh, opened it just to double check there was no there was no horrors from the uh, shipping process um, and nothing obvious so we're now we're presented with this huge big polystyrene lid and if we just lift that up excuse me and move that just put that to one side for now there's a little packing piece there and there we can see the first sign of this huge, huge model. Beautifully packed away in plastic. I'm hoping that this is, this is going to be a two-man job to get this out, so I will um, call in reinforcements very soon. But before we do that, let's just see what else we've got in the box. So these are, let me just check you can see that. So these are some acrylic stands that I use to display the model. So. Um, I understand all the landing gear works, so you can have this displayed as it would do, it's just sitting on the ground, or you can have it displayed as if it's actually flying. So these acrylic stands um, are given to you, there's a bit of weight in those, they feel really nice quality. So I'll pop those to one side for now, 
Um, I'll just pull out all the small bits first and see what else we've got. Oh, that's actually, that looks like, yeah, that looks like one of the, um, what is that? That's a flap, I think, that, that goes on the back. Yes, that's the, I think that's, that's actually one of the flaps that it looks like a magnet attaches to it. Yeah, little magnets. Um, so I'll pop that in that. I mean, so, I mean, I'm trying to remember, it's been a long time. I mean, I have actually got uh, the original one to, uh, one, three, one to 3.75 scale snow speeder, which I'll show you in a while, uh, from the original 1980s um, Kenner release. Um, and that's the other side, the other flap. I'm not sure if these are articulated. They don't look like they're articulated. They just look like they magnetize into position. So, but again, I mean, beautifully finished, beautifully painted and weathered. I mean, I've seen a couple, there's not many of these out there. Um, so this is really rare. This is a super rare thing because they don't, they don't make many of these. Um, and I've seen a couple that um, uh, collectors take these and then they weather them even more. But I think what Jazz Inc have done um, uh, is good enough for, for what I want and what we want. And also seeing this is going to be coming to you as a prize or somebody very lucky as a prize. We want to keep it as original as um, as possible. We're not going to modify it in any way whatsoever. Um, this could be a power adapter. You ask, why has it got a power adapter? It doesn't actually fly, um, but what it does do, the cockpit lights up, which is a really cool thing. So that's nicely packed in here, um, and that's obviously going to have to be converted from European to um, UK power which is uh, something I might ask my wife to help me with I don't know if I've got one of those in the house but that's the power adapter and that is required because the cockpit lights up which is a super cool thing right um, I have no idea what's in this box but we'll have a look oh that's the lead obviously that goes from the power adapter to plug the lights in so that's there can't wait to see what that looks like on I'll see if I can We'll um, probably wait till it gets a little bit darker and do that so we can see it in its full glory. Um, and then we have various different markings that go on the, and various different fixings that go onto the snow speeder. Again, we will not be marked, we, not, we, won't, we won't be installing those because this has to be um, given away as a prize in its as new condition. Um, what have we got in here? So uh, something fairly chunky. And fairly weighty these feel like they're resin built or resin I mean that's just beautiful I think that might be for the guns I think that might be for the laser guns that I don't know if you can see that but there's two of those um, and we will put those on um, so we just pop those out of the way for now I mean I, oh, this is huge this is huge you're gonna to want to make sure that you've got the space uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna head and buy one, I thought, but they, these are no longer available. They're no longer available, um, so it's something that you're gonna have to uh, maybe pick up on the secondhand market, um, but uh, or look out for a rerun if they do do them again. If this is something that oh this is the all oh, right this is the harpoon gun I think this could be the or the laser gun on the back of the snow speeder. Anybody's ever watched the Star Wars film, you remember that sits on the back of this. That's beautifully made, lovely weathered, very recognisable because I do a lot of that myself on the tanks. Um, love the fact that it's actually, is it articulated? Let's have a look, has it got? No, no articulation at this yet. And we have yet to discover all the rest of the components and beautiful parts of this amazing model. So I think that's all the loose parts. It is indeed. Now I'm gonna come off camera Go and find a volunteer uh, to help me get this incredible model out of its packaging, and I'll see you soon. Right, that did definitely take two people to get it out of the box. Um, and there's a few things that we need to add on to the snow speeder, but I don't know if you can begin to get a feel for the scale of this incredible model. Um, but it's, it is huge um, and it's tricky to work with on your own. So if you've got one of these or if you're going to go into the raffle and you really, and you really win this, um, don't unpack this on your own so it basically you just have to take the bag off this is pretty much as it comes um, and there's some display rods underneath which need to be bolted in underneath so I've done that really straightforward the instructions are there how to do that there's just three simple bolts that bolt into the undercarriage 
The um, I will go into more detail in a moment, just giving you an overview. And the only things that need to be added on is the end of the uh, the blasters, which I'll try not to block the camera too much. They just simply um, slide into place, and I believe that this is, this arrangement here is should be on the inside. So just holding that and just popping that, just like that. I mean, again, this is just a static model, and and this is only something that you know if you're a Star Wars. Um, fan it's a must-have i think because it's so beautifully made and so wonderfully detailed just so that just goes on like that um and then the only other thing that needs to go on is the and i'll just rotate this around just very gently is the harpoon gun the only thing I'll say with that is with the display stand on, it has a tendency just to, you know, just, so I think if you're going to have this on permanent display, perhaps a little bit of blue tack or something or gray tack, just to hold it in position um, rather than it just drooping that direction because of this slant of the, 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 the way the ship has been displayed. And then we've got um, these, I guess these are the sort of either, they're not the air brakes, I don't think they're all to do with the steering, the flaps, if you like. And they just make they're just magnetic and I'm gonna just position them excuse me just mind my big old bold head that goes on there like that and there's another one I mean, if you have a if you've got a Star Wars collection or uh, are looking to try and get into a Star Wars collection this would be just the centerpiece of everything wouldn't it and that's that so they're on very good um, and that that effectively is it so let's just rotate this around um, and we have there's a couple of options on here. I think there is yeah, a little plate here that can come out and it exposes the inner frame of the snow speeder, which is pretty cool. Really nice paint job there. Um, I actually really like the paint job. I know some, I've seen some people that want to take this another level, but I don't think you need to. Um, I'm actually super impressed with this. And in a moment, I will get the camera. We'll go in and do some close-ups. So the hatch opens up simply by that and that reveals a really truly detailed um, cockpit which I will show you in a moment when we move the camera in close. Um, and it does plug in and light up which again I'll show you in a moment. Um, I think the air brakes do work. Let me just, or they can be taken up. Let's have a look. There we go. There is a tool I think they give you for this. And it's just have to be careful with this because it's it is plastic. It's not really working that well, so I don't want to force that. I'll have a look at that in a moment. Uh when we you know when we've got this in a better position but just to give you an idea of the scale I have got an original Kenner snow speeder 1980 Kenner snow speeder and that's it let me just move this around and that is it it's a graded one it's part of my own collection I don't know if you can see that in the camera I think you can um, and that gives you hopefully an idea of the scale of this thing. It's huge, absolutely huge. So yeah, this is look what it is what it is. It's a static model. Um, I've got a. I've actually got other Star Wars toys, and I've got a rotunda that I use to display those. Um, this, if this was mine, um, I would have this on a. You know, completely. I would. I definitely have this as a central piece of my display. 
I think it's absolutely stunning. It's just the fact of the detailing on it. And what I'll do in a moment, I'll just, uh, we'll get Luke and we'll see if we can sit him in there and if he fits, hopefully he does. Um, and then um, we'll get the camera in and we'll go through some other, other sort of details of uh, this incredible, beautifully detailed one to six scale snow speeder. Right, so a little bit closer up and I managed to get the air brakes open. I think it's only because they're a little bit stiff, but they do, they, they go down and they pop into position, but I'll leave them up for now, but they're a little bit stiff and I would just say that just be careful how you operate them. So I'm just gonna sort of go through, I mean, look at the date, the detail, the painting on the back of this. Um, I've just put a little bit of uh, paper on that just to stop that rotating. Um, Cause as I said, this is gonna be a prize. It's not gonna be, I have to keep it as brand new as possible. Just love the detailing of this. The paint job I think is incredible. Just beautiful job. And I understand that it's it's mainly sort of resin plastic, but I think there may well be a metal frame that supports the entire frame of this. Just looking at the detail is just beautiful. And this is the grey version, which is the one that Luke actually flies in Empire Strikes Back. Um, and I just think this is stunning um just to show you is that it is that fun yeah that, so that's the the framework the inner framework of the i think another panel comes on done as well but i won't i won't do that i think there is another panel that pops out but yeah a really nice really nice detail um didn't need to do it but i've done it and i just like that because you can display it with or without i'm not sure which way around that goes now but I'll get it right in a minute, but anyway. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think it's a really nice detail. Um, inside the air brakes, yeah, some detail, not much really. I guess that could a little. I guess that could have been a bit more sort of you know distressed inside there, but um, or a bit of a you know metallic wash. But even so, you know they could have just left it without doing this. They could have just left these not operational. But I love the fact that they are, um, and you know that's it really. There's no other sort of parts that move as such apart from the uh, landing gear which i'll show you um the, the the landing gear is in in there but it's all tucked up um obviously you can't have that down while you've got it on display i prefer to have this looking as if it's going to be flying then the cockpit opens up like that um and in a moment we'll plug it in and see how the lights work and we'll get luke inside and we'll go in I'll zoom in a bit more with the camera. I love the fact that they've gone and distressed the, the lid of the, uh, the canopy itself. Lots of little details like that that didn't really have to do, but I guess on a scale like this, it gives you the opportunity to, um, you know, to do it. So um, I just love, 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 love this model. Um, now they do give you other transfers and other stickers to put on this to, you know, to, ch to change it yourself, but I don't, I'm not gonna do that obviously because this is gonna be going back in its box. Um, and just simply gorgeous. So I'll do is um, I'll um, I'll go and get Luke in a minute. We'll pop him in the cockpit. Well, actually, no, I won't do that yet. I'll I'll get the uh, camera off its hilt, and we'll go in and we'll do some zoomed in, detailed sort of shots. Beautiful. Right. So camera's off its hilt now. So I just thought I'd come in and show you some of the detail in the cockpit. Beautiful paint job. So lovely. Such attention to detail. You can't get closer to the movie than this. And all at my favorite scale, one to six. Now this is without the, the lights on, obviously. So this is obviously the, the harpoon operator here. And this is the main cockpit where Luke, old Lukey boy sits. And I'm just going to see if I can give you. Oh, that's the framework with the panel removed. Again, really nice detail that. Didn't need to do it, but they've done it. There's your your air brakes. I love the colour distress on the canopy. It just beggars belief the detail and the hard work that's gone into this. take it around and show you the other side just 
stunning. Even to the panels on the side there, the quilted panels. Just nothing's left to chance. Nothing's left out of place. Just stunning. Well done. Jazz Inc. Incredible. So what we do now is we'll... I'll get the lights on. We'll get Luke sitting inside it. And then we'll take it from there. Just thought I'd show you the underneath as well. Sorry. So that's the, the landing gear. Now that will click into place. But obviously I haven't taken the protective bags off these yet. But obviously because the stands are in place. Um, there is the back ones which are also... Just bring these around. And the front one. And they'll once these stands are out of the way they'll lock into place again lovely detail and if you are going to display this on its you know and it's in its landed position which is pretty cool because you can show Luke getting in and out um, but I actually really like the, uh, the flying part of it so just just trying to be careful with that everything's a bit stiff I'll close that in a minute so yeah what we'll do now is we'll get um, actually just, just yeah, it's really nice actually. They've, they've they've gone to you know they've gone to a, a lot of detail to the underside as well, which, considering you really rarely see it from the underside, it's pretty special. So there's Luke sitting in the cockpit. Uh, fits incredibly well. Perfect, perfect scale. Perfect everything. Um, and we're now just going to plug in the lights. So you do get this adapter with it. And, and stupidly, I thought I might have to go and seek the help of my wife for this, but she pointed out that it's actually. A, multi-use adapter so it's just really cleverly done uh, so actually for uh, for European or uh, American or uh, UK so it's got all three feeds on it so European UK and American so brilliant really clever uh, really well thought out fully international compliant company um, let me just lock that into position and now we can then um, I've got an extension lead set up We've got the adapter, the power adapter, um, that plugs into the back of the speeder. So let's have a look. Yeah, there's a little plug on the back of that. Just there, let me see that lead. That plugs into that. Um, got my extension lead to hand. Plug this in. That power's on, and now it's just a matter of hopefully plugging this in and seeing a thing light up. Wow, okay, so that's it, it is working beautifully. So, I'll tell you what I'll do I will rotate this around, hopefully, you can see the, the cockpit lit up. Zoom in for you. And that's it. Yeah, all this is all lit up. The control panel at the back's all lit up. All the controls down the side are all lit up. Pretty special. And I think um, if this was displayed at night in the evening, this would look pretty smart. So that's it. All lit up. Look, looking very heroic in the pilot seat now he's a hot toy one six scale hot toy part of my collection um, but uh, if I know when the boys put this up for a prize um, Luke will be a brand new 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back one to six scale hot toy that comes with this so beautiful really really impressed and obviously you could get his mate to sit in the back if you really wanted to but I think Luke on his own is sufficient beautiful so that's it really for my unboxing video of this incredible uh, one to six scale snow speeder from Jazz Inc I'm going to leave you now with some images um, I might even get this rotunda rotating put some lights underneath it and uh, let you enjoy the final part of this um, and the next time I see you, I'll be building, I'll be carrying on with my build of my lovely little Hetzer. But hope you've enjoyed this. 
Uh, if you've liked this film, please give me a thumbs up. If you've just found me and you weren't, you you never found me before and you didn't realise what I do, I don't do uh, Star Wars all the time. This is just a one-off, um, but I had to do it. I was just sort of compelled to see it and do it. Um, I build tanks, one six scale tanks, Armatec tanks. Check my um, channel out. You'll see me building a current Hetzer and previously built the Tiger and the M26. Thanks for all of your amazing comments. Thanks for all of the support I get on my channel. All of you are wonderful uh, and brilliant supporters. Um, and I can't wait to get back into the garage and continue the build of the Hetzer. See you soon.